What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny and I am that props girl. Today we are going to be making some umbrellas that open up and look like they've got rain coming down. And no, this is not for a primary school play or for a nursery rhyme, but I'm sure that you could use these for that purpose if you were in fact a primary school teacher. We are actually making these for Priscilla, Queen of the Desert the Musical for the MacArthur Park scene where they have these giant cupcakes and they have umbrellas with rain over them. And if you watched the video on how I made the green cake recently, then that's also used in this scene. So I've got these umbrellas which were $15 from Kmart and they're really great. And I need to extend them so that they can be held above the candle on top of the cupcakes. It's a whole big elaborate costume but if you know anything about Priscilla Queen of the Desert that should not surprise you. Now I've done quite a few shows where I've had to use umbrellas for various different things and I've learned over the years in this instance it is better to buy a little bit more expensive ones because the cheaper ones are a little bit flimsy in terms of the spokes so just keep that in mind that you do need to sometimes do a little bit of investigation and buy a cheap one and test it out and see what's gonna happen and as I said I tested this one and it didn't work so I opted for ones that were $15 which were a little bit more pricey but they're going to last longer and as nothing is actor proof in theatre I just knew we would definitely need something a little bit more robust for this prop. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and the bell next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my future uploads and with all that said and done let's jump straight into the video. Alright, so not for the first time ever on this channel, I'm sitting on my floor just like I was for my pom-poms video, but uh, the umbrellas have now been extended. Now we've had a 40 centimeter extension put on them. The handles are still here and excuse the discoloring, it's because we literally had to heat up the plastic to get these handles off and some of them have melted a little bit, but that's okay. We'll go in and cover them in some ribbon later. So these are all done and I'm going to open it. Sorry for the superstitious people. Uh, like that and then I'm going to start attaching what's supposed to be the rain and I've got this like cello stuff which I'm going to use and I've got this silver like curling ribbon I have some further ones as well I have this silver ribbon which I don't want to use because it is a bit thick and I have this really thin blue one which I might put in this blue is a little bit thicker and I don't think I'm going to use that either but we'll see if we need a bit of texture and then there's this one which is nice but again I'd have to cut it down and then I've got this sequin um, ribbon here. So I'm gonna go in with the cello first and see how much we need. Uh, and we'll see that. I really don't want them to look like jellyfish though. This scene that these are in is the exact same scene that the green cake that I made a couple of videos ago uh, is in. And I don't know what it is, like so many shows, the most crazy props are all in the one scene. That's happened to me so many times. And in three separate shows, it's been with umbrellas. But anyyways, I don't want these to look like jellyfish um, uh, cause I've made giant jellyfish before. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see a video on that and I can certainly do that one for you. These cello strings are a lot shorter than I thought they were going to be. Uh, and that's fine. Um, they'll be good for a little bit of rain, but um, I'm definitely going to need the others to make up the difference and I remember when I saw the professional production um, I, I took issue with their umbrellas because they just didn't seem long enough in my opinion like it just didn't seem like it was raining enough so I don't and I don't want it to just look like some sort of piddly little shower um, but then I also don't want it to look like a hurricane of rain so there's like a fine balance in this art you have to be super gentle with them because I've actually broken quite a few of them um, and I'm going I'm not going in with single strip threads I'm actually going in with multiples as you can see um, just because the single ones are snapping a bit so I'm trying to use thicker ones like lots of them together to make it thicker but it's still snapping a little bit so it, it really is quite a, um, a tedious task so I think I'm actually gonna have to go in with a little bit of hot glue over them as well just to like make sure they stay on there. <laughs> Alrighty, so these are on and you can see that they're hanging and it like it looks good but they're just so short and like when this is hanging up here like you can't even see it 
um, so I definitely need some longer strands and I really wish I had this exact stuff I just, I just wish it was longer because it's almost perfect um, but I'm gonna see what this ribbon looks like hopefully it's not going to look too crazy now I've cut a strip but because it's curling ribbon <laughs> it's gonna curl so I'm gonna cut myself one two three four five six seven eight eight strips and give them a bit of an iron with a tea towel over the top uh, so they don't melt and then I'll come back To do this I put the iron on the lowest heat and then gently pulled the curling ribbon through and it worked really well. If you are enjoying this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss a single one of my uploads. Brush the iron so let's give this a go. As I said hopefully this will improve the look. I'm a bit annoyed that the ribbon is like matte on one side and glittery on the other side but desperate times I call for desperate measures and I got what I could get but as I said I don't want it to look like a jellyfish so I don't want to overload them with silver it's just kind of to catch the light hopefully fingers crossed it works and it looks good and I don't have to redo them Some of these are still a little curled, but that's all right. We can still sort that out later. So now, this is better-ish now. Um, doesn't feel like a jellyfish. Um, and once they're not curled, it'll look even better. gone in on every second spoke with a blue one and then on the opposite one I've got this it's almost like a it's white but it's got like a, a sheen or a sparkle through it and that's just kind of adding to it now I don't want to put in too much more because it will start to look like a jellyfish but I think that's going to work really well we'll see what you think in the full picture video okay so I'm bending down because my roof is a bit low but Okay, I'm gonna kneel down. But you can kind of get the picture. Oh look, it's a bit like a jellyfish, but anyways, I'll insert a picture of the jellyfish I've made previously and I can guarantee it's not the exact thing. But you know, it looks like it's raining. I think we succeeded there. Well, it worked really well and I'm super happy with how they turned out. They are gonna look fantastic on stage and the little shimmery bits are gonna to capture the light beautifully. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give it a like if you enjoyed it as well as hit the subscribe button and bell so that you can stay updated with all of my future uploads. And for all my creatives out there, don't be afraid to be brave. Trust your instincts, you've got this. I'll see you guys next time, bye.